Hi everybody, this is Eric from Protofuse. Today I'm gonna to walk you through eight critical ingredients to a homepage design. Now, a homepage brings a lot of paralysis through analysis. A lot of companies kind of treat it as a bit of a smorgasbord where they can, opportunity to throw anything and everything on their homepage. Um, but we feel like through the last couple years, we've found some, some critical elements that really apply to any industry, uh, whether you're a product-based company or a service-based company, that you can use a bit of a formula to ensure that your homepage is articulating clearly, um, that impresses Google, uh, it's good for SEO, it's good for conversion, and just overall a pleasant experience. So uh, let's just dive into those elements. Number one, very simple, clear navigation. Uh, is it concise? Do your menu items avoid jargon? Is it visible? Uh, there some, seems to be a bit of a trend these days uh, with a homepage design where the menu is hidden, maybe it's below the fold, you need to scroll and then the menu shows, or it's in a very small uh, menu system, as we call kind of the, the hamburger menu, the three little lines. Sometimes it's, it's tucked up in the top right hand corner and it's hard to access and people are looking for the different pages and getting a sense of your hierarchy and they can't find it. Uh, so clear navigation, number one on my list. Number two, and this is right up there with number one, is a value proposition. Um, a value proposition is, is what you do, who you do it for, and, and why you do it distinctly better than your competition. Uh, there's a bit of formula that you can follow here. Uh, you can follow a headline, subheadline, uh, with three benefit statements. Um, you can weave that into your design. This formula I learned from uh, conversion specialist, uh, Conversion Excel. Dot com. Um, really, really smart people over there. Um, that's when I first heard of it. I've learned that since reading that blog and I apply it to all my clients. Number three, content and links. Um, if your homepage doesn't have more than uh, 300 words of content, you're missing out in a lot of opportunity. Um, links to uh, key pages, um, content that's gonna hopefully um, compel and inspire people to crawl your website deeper. Um, very critical. Um, and I also strongly recommend a very big generic slideshow. I'm kidding, of course, I'm kidding. No, stay away from that generic slideshow. Uh, that is not good for uh, your user, it's not good for your conversion, it's not good for SEO, it's highly abused. I would definitely not recommend this slideshow. All right, so let's keep moving along here. Number four, recent content. Um, don't just put a link to read our blogs. Why don't you actually bring in your recent blogs and display them as a bit of the, the headline and maybe a caption or a snippet and an image. Um, show people that the con or your website is being updated regularly. Um, that's only not only good for the user, but that's also good for SEO. Keeps your homepage relevant, uh, keeps the bots happy that things are changing. Um, so wh whatever it uh, may be, it could be blogs, it could be news, whatever new content you are adding on your website, try to aggregate that out to show that it's being updated regularly. Number five call to action, you definitely can't miss that. Um, ideally, it should be in the header, your most wanted call to action should be in the header, but you can also reiterate a secondary call to action, uh, whether it appeals to uh, top of the funnel. Um, you know, Just as long as that makes it to your homepage, I think that um, is a good strategy to take. Uh, make sure it's visible on the page, it's not tucked way below. Um, you want to ensure, you want to explain to users what you want them to do in a very clear and concise manner. Uh, number six, search, very clear. If, especially if you are a product-based company that, have, that has products, if you don't have a search right on your homepage, I think you're missing out. Um, there's gonna be both active and passive users. Active users are looking for something very specific, so they're gonna wanna use a search bar. So make sure that's incorporated into your homepage. Number seven, social proof. Has people used your product? Uh, um, ha have people used your service? Um, have they enjoyed your service? Um, social proof, testimonials, reviews, those things build trust with the user. You can even use social plugins, but the key is to show that other people have used your product or service and they're happy with it and there is proof there. And by the way, don't ever fabricate this. Uh, don't ever make up testimonials. That is never a good thing. I think people can sniff that out pretty quickly. So if you don't have testimonials, then just wait on this element. Um, no need to rush it. Wait till you get that great uh, testimonial. 
And the last piece is contact information. I know that may seem pretty simple, but you'd be surprised of the number of home pages that I go to, I can't find contact information. And uh, this can be um, easily dropped into the footer of your site, which is actually really good from a search engine optimization perspective because you wanna put, um, if you might've heard, NAP, N-A-P, name, address, phone number. That's really good for local search. Um, but you know, also having a contact link maybe in your menu, um, like we had talked about number one with clear navigation, having a contact section um, is, is, is nice and clear. People know what that is. Um, it's there and available if they need to address it. That's about it for the contact information. Um, so those are the eight critical elements. Um, like I said, I think it applies to any industry. It applies to whether you're a product-based company or a service-based company. Um, it's, there's a lot of opportunity to throw a lot of stuff on your homepage, but if you can focus on these eight elements, um, I think you will be, <laughs> your homepage will be designed a lot better than um, most websites out there. So hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for joining. Talk to you next time.